Welcome to Gaya Bonsai and thank you for being part of my bonsai journey. Your comments are always extremely welcome and if you find these videos interesting and helpful to you a like and a subscription would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the following video. Hello and welcome to Gaya Bonsai. Today is the 6th of February 2023 and today is a short little video to show you how to stratify um, seeds. Uh, stratification is also called a moist chilling. There's two ways you can do this. One you can soak the seeds and sow the seeds in a pot or a seed tray and leave them outside for um, the varying temperatures across the winter to break down the dormancy in the seed or if you're doing small batches and this is the method I prefer um, is to what we call moist chilling so basically we'll soak the seeds for 24 hours I find these small um, glass pots are ideal really you can also use a little saucer anything that contains the pots so for this we need a receptacle for potting the seeds in uh, there's my tweezers I've got a pen and I've got some ziplock plastic bags here and I've also got some water that's just normal tap water but that's um, quite warm okay So today I'm going to prepare these Dawn Redwood seeds for um, moist stratification in the refrigerator. I bought these seeds last year and I've kept them in this little packet in the fridge to keep them cool. As you can see there's an awful lot, lot of seeds in there. So what we'll do is open the packet carefully. And we don't think we'll grow all these but we'll... about fifty or so in there perhaps. I think there's about forty five, forty, fifty in there. It's about half the packet. We'll seal that up, pop that back in the fridge, and then all we do is add some warm tap water. And then we'll put these somewhere safe. I'll leave them to soak for twenty four hours and then we'll move on to the next stage so we've got our dawn redwoods now soaking so what i'll do on here is i'm going to pop these up tomorrow so i'll write on here tomorrow's date which will be the second a uh, seventh of the second two oh two three and then we'll just put dawn red wood there we are, so that's all ready for tomorrow. Right, so what I've done is I've sieved some general purpose compost just to get the larger lumps out. I've got my bag here ready for the Dawnwood, Dawn Redwood seedlings, the seeds to go in. I've got a nice scoop in there. We'll fill them up. And that's our compost ready tomorrow for when the seeds have been had their 24 hour soak. So my Dawn Redwood, the Mexicoini seeds have been soaking for 24 hours. As you can see, most of them are floating on the surface. So it's a little bit more fiddly with these, but I'll do a similar process. So I've got the seeds, I've got the saucer just in case of accidents. I've got the bag with the prepared compost with the name on and that's dated as well and we'll just open that and then also we've got the little spray bottle to moisten the compost as this is quite a bit dry so you'll have to bear with me with these because they're a bit more they're a bit smaller and a bit more fiddly they're quite similar to um silver birch seeds really so i think probably the best thing to do is to scoop as many as i can on the spoon and give them a quick flick hopefully they'll go into the bag 
Well, they smell really nice, like cedar wood. Really nice smell. And the pine seeds that I did earlier, they smell really nice and piney. So it's a really nice, fresh. I'll flick those into the bag. And a few more. Flick those into the bag. Just stick to your fingers. It's, it's quite fiddly, but. To bear with me while I fumble about doing this. Look a few more in, there's one there, one on there. Not many more to go. You can strain them as well if you like, but I've got a small uh, little tea strainer, but I find that the um, it's got a bit of a lip on and the seeds can go get stuck under the lip so it's probably not much quicker than actually doing it this way and flick those in just a couple more this looks like a bit of debris so I'll pop that out Try and make sure the seeds are as, uh, like as clean as possible. If any bits of debris, we'll try and get rid of those because it can potentially go mouldy, which may affect the the seedlings with dampening off and things. Just a couple more. There we are, I've got all the little seeds in there now. The compost looks a little bit dry, so I'll just use the spray bottle to give it a few sprays. And we'll just mix it up a little bit. How's that looking? Just a two more sprays, I think. There we are, and then very carefully I'll try and mix all the seeds in with the compost and make sure none are stuck. So we'll leave plenty of air in the, oh there's a seed there, perhaps we can flick him in. That's got him. So we'll leave some air in the bag because it's very important because the seeds um, need air and moist cool conditions as well to germinate so we don't want them too wet so they get too waterlogged and drown there we are and then we'll just have to flick any seeds down that are stuck there yeah, that's looking okay good and I'll just pop those um, into the refrigerator and um, these are a bit smaller seeds in my experience they take between perhaps three to six weeks to germinate so we'll have a look at them in a couple couple of weeks and um, see if any have started to germinate so that's the dawn redwood seeds soaked and mixed in moist compost and then into the refrigerator for the moist chilling or stratification period so I hope this found this video helpful and informative and I look forward to making many more for you. Thank you for now. Goodbye.